Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play Magic of Spring. Now, this is a demo that's part of the Steam Game Demo Festival, and I want to preface this by saying that this demo is very difficult, and I don't think it's balanced completely well. There have already been discussions with the developer in the Steam section, so he's aware of that. He's coming up with ideas on what to change, and we will talk about some of these ideas as we play the game, but expect me to... to uh, concede a lot in this game so because <laughs> i will not talk about what i what i mean exactly but yeah and this is a roguelike by the way i don't know if i said that already but it has some very unusual mechanics for a roguelike so it's gonna be interesting also i absolutely love the premise of this game because you can create cards from your environment which i think is huge name yourself unknown power I am Eon, a conjurer of the Emissary Kingdoms, and you must be Queen of Spring. That's what your kind calls me. Why are you here? I'm here to ask about the bad weather. Where is the spring? Droughts in the north, the storms in the south. What's going on? What difference would it make if you knew? Because then I would know what to do to bring spring back. You can't do anything. Return to where you belong and await the end of the war. That is all you can do. You don't know what I can do. I was there when moons turned black. I was one of those who fought to save them. So I'll ask again, where is the spring? Spring is over. I've been dethroned. It's summer now. Is it? I don't think it's supposed to be this bad. Might get even worse. A queen of summer gains more power by devouring my season. Her season grows more destructive. And she needs to be stopped. I'm trying, Conjure, but the war. I'm losing the war. What can I be done to change that? Well, five of your kind, five conjurers, made a forbidden pact with the Queen of Summer. Together they have summoned Summer before a proper time. If not those conjurers, I might have a chance. I will break the pact. Thank you. I wish I could help you, conjurer, but the war is calling me. My raids, my sigils, they're fading. Then go. Protect what remains of spring. Give me time. I will try. I find it funny that summer is the one killing everybody. I would get it if it was like winter, but summer? Alright, so we can move around. And then we press C to conjure. And we click on different thing in the environment. And this allows us to conjure cards. So I'm going to click on this and get an Eldritch amb Ambition. We'll talk about the cards later in a moment. But first, we're going to go and conjure some more stuff. So we're going to conjure this little stone. And then this little... Uh, tree I guess and then we'll also conjure our soul anything else I can conjure no okay so anything that's within the area of this cannot be conjured because this is uh, sort of like a protective area that doesn't allow me to um, conjure now before we go into combat we first need to build our deck so we can build put cards into our order deck or our shuffle deck so the order deck means that the card will come in this order and the shuffle deck means that you'll get a random random card from this all right so we're gonna click away from this and we're gonna go and we're gonna fight this rule so we're gonna challenge it now we can only place two cards at a time. This is what makes this game quite uh, difficult. And you only you can use each card once. So we have four cards total, our enemy only has one. And the first thing you have to do is you have to invoke. This will allow you to get one card from the order deck and one card from the basic deck. First thing we'll do is we play this card from the Eldritch Ambition, which is two health and it costs me zero warmth to play it. What this does is that if your avatar takes lethal damage, this card loses one health instead. So we will end our turn and then if they try to hit us, we will... It will protect us. So this hits me for one, which will be lethal damage, but the elder thing protects me. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Wait, which deals three damage to the enemy Wait. But I can't do that yet until I get the worm. So I'm going to use my Eternal Ocean ability. You can always use one of your abilities every turn. And then I'll play the Weight. Which will destroy his determination. Now he has no more cards. So he can't do anything else. And now I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call. Draw two cards from my shuffle deck. And I'm going to play Curiosity. 
once I have the warm, so next turn. So I gain more warm, and now I'm gonna place this curiosity. Now I cannot place any more cards. If I try to play another card, it will go instead of one of these cards. Now what Curiosity does is while strength is lower than five, it gains one strength and hits the enemy every turn. So it's gonna hit this enemy every turn. So this fight was fairly easy, right? So you might think, oh, well, this is an easy game. Oh no, honey, no. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna show you in a moment. This game is just not easy at all. Um, we're gonna try to go now another thing that's a bit strange about this game or that i wish was different was it doesn't tell you like where to go in the sense that as you're gonna see in a moment there are many options of where to go and the game doesn't tell you like where you should go so you're gonna you might be inclined let me just see if i can click on this i can't okay So you might think, okay, well, I'm just going to go to the closest throne, right? Which seems to be this one, presumably. So we'll go that way. Just see if I can conjure anything. No. Also, in my cards, I got this ancient wall. So I'm going to put it in my order deck. No, in my in my shuffle deck. So what this does is it reduces the strength of enemy rate by two. And we'll go here and we'll fight this, right? It's perfectly not. Except this room has a health of 20, and you're gonna be see that we're, we're gonna lose this particular combo, most likely. And I'm gonna show you why in a moment. So we'll start off the same way we did before. Actually, so you could either start with the Aldrich Ambition, and that's the only thing I can do, because I don't have form ward for the Ancient Wall. So I'm gonna start with this, and my turn, and this will protect me from for lethal from this room. And they're placing Determination, which hits me for one, because it wasn't lethal, it didn't activate the Eldritch Ambition. This point, I'm going to get two cards from my deck, and now I can use Wait to kill it, or I can use Curiosity to kill it. But Curiosity would only do one damage, so it would actually hit me back and destroy my Curiosity card, so you don't want to let that happen. Because if you do that, you will... You, this is your only, essentially, like a strong attacking card, so you don't want to let that happen. Ooh, so actually if I now play wait, it's still not going to be enough to kill it. I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh no, it does three damage, so I forgot about that. Okay. So we killed it. So he's gaining warm so it. So now it seems like it's gonna be easy, right? I'm gonna place my curiosity. And I'm gonna win, right? Because every turn I'm gonna do some nice damage to it. We're happy. Everything is looking like sunshine and roses. Well. No. Because he he played this. This is still fine. If one is lower than 10, it creates one more warmth every turn. If your avatar's health is lower than 10, it gives him health. So that's fine because that song doesn't really apply to us just yet. So I am cool, right? I'm not worried about this. It's not a problem. We're fine. Until he has one card left. And once he plays that card, we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to invoke more cards. The soul. If I place the soul, oh, this is an immediate effect. So this presumably does not get played as a summon. So let's try to play that. All right. Now I could play this ancient wall and switch it for the Eldritch Ambition. And this actually might, okay, so do I want to show you or do I want to play it? I'm going to show you first. No, I should have played it because now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose. All right, maybe if I showed you, we would have not lost. My mistake. I made. It, I did that wrong. I shouldn't have. Okay, so we could have actually won this. So what happens now is that we have both lost because he has no more cards to play, and I can only play the ancient wall, which lowers the strength of the enemy. But um, that's useless because he's not attacking me anymore. So at this point, what you have to do is you have to concede. I am not 100% sure if the effect of the Ancient Wall would activate on the thing that he played before he played it. I'm not, I don't think so, so he might have lost anyway, but at this point it's just like game over, so you have to concede. There's no negative effect to conceding, but the problem is like, this is the first fight after tutorial and you're already losing, so that's obviously quite um, disappointing. And there's also no indication that this is... Um, 
that uh, like maybe like that this like what is the difficulty of this it doesn't say that this is like a more difficult rune than the other so what we have to do now is we have to try to find a different rune that might not be that difficult to beat and then hopefully we can find some stuff around that that we could um play with so let's see what's this one yeah this is a two six so we should be able to beat this so we'll start with the basic thing we'll place our eldritch ambition as always Now he plays Determination, so that uh, hits me here, so we're gonna go with... We're actually gonna have to wait a turn as always. I mean, I don't necessarily... I could play Soul. Which gives me... One Warmth, which is all I need. Actually, it gives me warm more. It gives me from his as well. And then we'll play Wait to kill his thing. And... I can also immediately play Curiosity, but I don't know what his card is. And in case his card is attacking, if I place Curiosity immediately, he can destroy it and then we're going to be in the same situation as before, where it's game over. So I'm actually going to wait till he plays whatever he has. Yeah, so he played a Labyrinth Entrance. This hits me for one. So I'm going to play now the Ancient Wall to protect myself against it. So this is going to lower his strength to minus one, so now he can't hit me. And then we're, now we're going to proceed with the curiosity. Now remember, if we played this in the opposite order, we would have already lost. But again, because you can't see the deck of the enemy, it can be quite easy to end up... If we would have lost, we would have been in that sort of like uh, situation where no one can play anything. So uh, the developer knows about this, and one of the suggestions that he... Or idea that he like proposed in the discussions was that... If the curiosity gets destroyed, you would it would get different stats. It would be weaker, but you would be able to gain this a copy of this card into your hand. So you could uh, you would always have at least one card to play. So I think that's a great solution. Another idea, what I think would work, could be what if uh, if there was like a better mark, like if these runes, there would be like a more obvious way to tell like which runes are more difficult than which or like if there was like a path thing like for example the rune down there on the bottom was somehow better marked that it's more difficult or like on the map if it would tell you and also maybe like if you won against the rune what if it gave you like a card like a maybe like an ability to like a copy a card of yours and then uh, you would be able to use that card but only once in the next combat so that might be helpful there doesn't seem to be anything I can conjure around here, so it doesn't look like I can get any more cards. I'm gonna go try go try to try to go down here. But this one. I know there is a one more card we can conjure that's called Dusk. I just don't know where it is. So let's let's start to fight this one. See if we can beat that. Four, twelve, they have six cards though. You have a lot less. Cards. So we'll try with the Eldritch Ambition. That's what we always do. What do you start with? Remains. Ooh, that just straight up hits me for four. Okay. I'm gonna try to get some more cards. End of turn. And we'll gain a warm. I'm worried about playing Curiosity this early. I might need to reshuffle some of the cards and try to get a different one. Well... Play Curiosity now, we're gonna be dead. I could also just play the Ancient Wall. At least I'll figure it out whether the Ancient Wall like blocks the attack of the enemy even before the enemy like at the moment the enemy plays it i guess at this point we would have to go with curiosity but we're using up all of our cards so i'm pretty sure he's gonna beat us yeah now he played way to kill my curiosity so now i have no way to attack him yeah and the remains hit me as well so yeah, so we could protect against the second card. Well, let, let's just try this again. Maybe we'll be able to figure it out. I don't know if we need the dust card to make this work, but... Let's start with the invoking. 
And we'll start with the Eldritch Ambition. End our turn. So we know that he has two remains. We know that. So we have to wait till he uses up his cards before we... Before we play our own. Check out the salt thing here. So I, ju I just need to let him use his, his stuff. So he needs, I think he needs four um, warm to be able to use his weight attack. So we'll just wait for that. Oh, and another suggestion, by the way, was that you would see the deck of cards of the enemy when you start fighting them. So that would be quite useful. I don't know if that would make the game a little too easy, but... Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just going to keep increasing my strength, I think. We know that he still has five cards. He probably has one more remain, so then we should be able to stop it with our Eldritch Ambition. Good. Now at this point, the only thing I can do is play the, the Ancient Wall. And our turn as well. But if he has one more remains, we're done. Because if I let him kill the, the curiosity, it's also over for us, so... It's kind of strange that way. Yeah, see we're dead. So there's not much we can do here to... So we can't, we can't seem to beat this with the current cards we have. I think we might need the Dusk card for it. But I don't really know where the Dusk card is. So let's try whatever this here up here is. Maybe we could attack that. Five and ten. But he only has three cards. That gives us sort of like a chance. Let's start with the Eldritch Ambition. See what happens. He's playing Curiosity. So we'll immediately play Wait, which is a great counter to Curiosity. Okay. There's three cards to go. I'm going to try to draw more cards. I'm not going to play my curiosity because I know how it ends. What are you doing? Why aren't you playing anything? Let's try to get more cards. I want all of the cards in my hand. He never plays a card. We're going to be in trouble as well. Try to wait a few more turns. Yeah, so this is a problem. Like, I don't know. Like, if... I don't know if there's like a random chance or if this is like a strategy of this rune. But okay, if he never plays a card, then like, what do you want me to do? And if I play Curiosity and he destroys it, then I'm dead. So... Try to wait a bit longer. No, he's not doing anything. So we'll play Curiosity, but again, we're, gonna, we're not gonna win this one. Because he'll presumably destroy it. That's what he was waiting for. Yeah, he's waiting to use the weight here. But now, he played his curiosity, which I can pretty easily stop with the ancient wall. But I needed him to use his curiosity before I used mine. And because he just like refused to do it, then uh, we lost. Yeah, so. So we made it through a few of these, but not many. I don't want to figure out where the. Why can I move through this? Okay. Try to see if we can find somewhere else. And, and where's the card called Dusk? Like that. Curious. Everything seemed like things we already been through. This would be interesting to fight against the frozen stuff, but yeah, they only have one card though. Wait, they only have one card, so we should be able to beat that. Assuming that you play, they play their card at some point. Let's just gain warmth. 
Oh. Alright, Thaw Warrior, what does this do? Loses one health every turn, reduces enemies worn by two when summoned. When removed, if you have no sigil, summons a special sigil. So it reduces my warmth and then it hits me for two. So I'm going to need to invoke more cards. I'm going to need the ancient wall against this. I don't have the warmth for that just yet. Alright. We need one more warm, and now we can play the Ancient Sigil, which should lower his attack by two. Right. Now, I don't know if, uh, if... Let's play Wait first to get rid of it. So, what is this? If enemy Wait has strength that is higher than one, reduce it by one every turn. That's fine. Because this keeps increasing its own strength, so we'll just keep having an attack of one. Which is which is it means it's gonna take us a long time to kill it, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, so it so it actually it increases to two, then it attacks, and then it gets lowered back to one. So we'll be able to beat this one. And we get towards the frozen enemy. Which is gonna be cool. But yeah, I wish, I wish I would tell you that maybe this is the order that you should kind of stay on the bottom. And it's not like, like, there is no negative effect to conceding. It's not that big of a problem. But it like, for a player, at least for me, it doesn't feel very exciting if you lose a lot. Especially since this is really a beginning of the game. Like, so, yeah. Just, you know. We don't like to lose. That's why we play video games. So that we can feel in control of our lives. And like, we can do anything and everything. Do I fight against this person or do I talk to them? Ooh, I can conjure this. Ice Climber. Ooh. Change. Okay, we get a lot of new cards. Let's check them out. So we get change. Swap sigils when summoned. Reduces enemies worn by one every turn. So it swaps my and the enemy sigil. That's pretty cool. And ice deals 2 damage to the enemy sigil and raid when played. If the enemy still has a sigil or raid after damage is dealt, a copy of this card is added to your hand. We'll put them both in our deck. But this doesn't seem like it hits the enemy person. So we can use this to try to get them to use up their cards like, like the weight or the remains that hit our weights. But then in order to actually do damage to the rune, we have to use the curiosity and not the ice glimmer. Let's go see if we can like challenge this guy. Oh no, I can- ooh, Thaw Warrior. So we just saw what the Thaw Warrior does a moment ago. But we're actually now at 23 minutes, so I think we're gonna end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games that you found on this channel. See you there. Bye bye.